Hey folks, Marty Nowicki with Impact Snap. Today's video is why should I hit a draw and how is that going to help improve my game? I think as people develop as golfers, we want to have the ability on demand to curve a ball to the right, curve a ball to the left, understand the variables that go into curving a ball, the variables that go into trajectory of the ball. And a uh, pretty great teacher, Hank Haney, always liked to use this quote, the road to good golf goes through Hookville. When you watch players develop, certainly watch your junior players as they keep getting better and better, most players uh, in, in that step of progression to get better, start to draw the ball, which sometimes actually turns into a hook. Certainly when I was growing up, the balada balls, the wooden clubs, balls would curve a lot so that you really had to have face control in order to not curve the ball. Modern technology isn't per se curving the ball as much, but I think it's important that you learn how to curve a ball on demand. If I wanted to draw a ball in three simple steps, here, here would be the steps. I'm gonna take the ring joints of my lead hand, put them a little bit more on the side of the golf club. When I hold that out, I should see at least two, maybe even three knuckles of my left hand. Club face is gonna be relatively vertical. And if you uh, have the appearance that you have a little bit of forward press or your lead arm is slightly ahead of the shaft, that would be quite all right. I know in other videos I've talked about the importance at first parallel for the club to actually be in line with the hands. If I need to hit a draw, a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to put the ball a little back more in my stance, and I'm going to allow for the club to go on a much more inside path. That's going to require the chest to turn a little bit more. That'll help to send the arms in a little bit more to the inside. If I want to hit a draw, nice simple image is that I want the club coming at an angle from the inside. And I think people, when they're first learning this, they have to excessively do that. So I, I, my students tend to see the ball curved to the left on their first or second ball. And we might rehearse it for a couple minutes just to feel much more of an in to out path. Think in terms of if I uh, placed a soccer ball on the ground, and I came running at the ball at an angle and swung my leg, we would expect the curve of the ball uh, with a soccer ball to curve slightly to the left. Well, we're trying to set up the same scenario, the club face would be acting as our foot. So I want the club to swing slightly more to the inside. I want it to swing slightly more to the outside. Again, I think it's important as you develop as a golfer to have the ability to curve the ball on command. Let's review those couple simple steps. Rings, more on the side of the club. That way when I grip it, I'll see two or three knuckles. My lead arm might be slightly ahead of the shaft. Ball position for a draw would be back or centered. And then a little more early turn of the chest that helps the arm swing more to the inside. Yeah, there are, there are a lot, well, having the ability. It's like, don't you wanna just go down your list and say, hey, I want the ball to do this. I have to do check, 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 and magically the ball does what it's supposed to do. It's like we want to we want to set up a scenario where, you know, if you want the ball to do anything, you want it to go high, you want it to go low, you want it to curve left, you want it to curve right. I want to create a checklist of okay, if I want the ball to do this, then I have to go check, 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 and magically the ball does what it's supposed to do. It's all calculated. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you.